Hi, my name is Duarte and today I'm in Shanghai to test our new product, the LS600. So I'm just gonna press start and we are about to scan this area. Uh, as we can see, is a multi-sensor uh, slam. It means that it depends on multiple sensors, not only the LiDAR. It uses the LiDAR, it uses the, the camera, it uses GNSS antenna for the RTK positioning, and it uses also the IMU for uh, inertial uh, measurements. So, what does this do that other competitors don't do? So, as you can see, the antenna of the RTK and the OM boards of the GNSS Everything is inside, everything is combined. So you got one device that will give you the image from the cameras, the LiDAR information, the positioning from the, the GNSS, and the IMU for the trajectory. So from this device is very complete and you can get three uh, types, uh, three devices. So you can get the, um, the 16 line and the 32 line until uh, 100 meters distance and you can also get the 32 line until 300 meters uh, distance. So it's a very unique device because it has everything combined. You don't need to do nothing. Even for the processing, once you finish the scan, you, can uh, you have already everything processed. So you can access to the file immediately and check the data. So the batteries can last until uh, one hour and a half so, and uh, you can change the battery, it's not uh, the handle of the, of the device, is a battery. And here, in the base plate, as you can see, you have the, the, this mark. This mark you can use for, let's say, for, for if you don't have access to the GNSS positioning, if you can, cannot get RTK, you can use this uh, mark here to get uh, ground point controls. And this way, you can still have your scanning area uh, georeferenced. Once also because it has a GNSS antenna and is using RTK positioning, this means that you won't be needing the loop closure. So you don't need to come back to the same place in order to get a good SLAM data final results. So you just scan with the RTK positioning and the RTK will automatically do corrections to the map. So as you can see, this scan that we just did that right now, it was about six, five minutes and to scan this whole area with traditional surveying methods it probably would take a week. So the workflow with this device is really powerful.